Hi, Jocelyn Ireland here again from MVCC Library. This video is going to be about how you can find scholarly peer-reviewed journal articles through the library website. To find scholarly sources, go to the college library website, mvcc.edu slash library. Enter your topic in the main search box. Make sure you're spelling your search terms correctly and just entering the main keywords of your topic. Press enter and you'll be taken to a results page. There are many different sources on the library website that the library has access to. So if you're only looking for a scholarly source, you can limit your results to peer-reviewed journals with the filters on the left-hand side. If you're on a mobile device or you have a smaller screen, the filters are under this icon here. So after you select the filter for peer-reviewed journal articles, everything on your results page should be coming from a peer-reviewed journal. Browse through the titles of, the, of your results and see if anything stands out to you. Once you find an article that looks promising, select the title. You'll be taken to the items record. If you scroll down, there's often a paragraph that's a summary of what the source is all about. So you can decide whether or not it's really relevant to what you're looking for. If you'd like to read the full text, you can select one of the databases that's actually holding the article. These will be listed under the Full Text Availability View Online section. Sometimes an article is held by one database, and sometimes it's held by many, like this one. So I'm just going to select one of the databases, and it's going to take me to the database holding it. Now some databases may look different. This one directed me directly to the full text. But some databases may take you to another page where you'll have to select PDF full text. Now if you're off campus, after you select the database button, you'll be asked to sign in. The login for off-campus database access is the same login you use for your student email or campus computer login. So first initial, last name, day of birth, and usually the last four of your social or M number. If you think you might use an article for your paper, just make sure you save the citation. The citation will also be in the items record on the library website as well. Another place you can find scholarly sources is through the A to Z databases button. Now this main search box is that searches a lot of our databases at once, but it's also a good idea to check out individual databases too, because that main search box doesn't search everything. So once you select the A to Z databases button, you'll be taken to a list of all the databases the library subscribes to. I'm going to select one of the databases. Again, if you're off campus, you'll have to sign in at this point. I'll put in my topic. And you can limit your results to scholarly peer-reviewed journal articles here as well. Hopefully this video gave you a better idea of how to find a scholarly source through the library website. If you have any questions about what it is and what is not a scholarly source or how to find one, just ask a librarian. Take care.